NFL Coach of the Year in 2008 is now in his fourth season as the Falcons head coach. Tonight, he faces Mike McCarthy, who last year raised the Vince Lombardi Trophy at Super Bowl 45. Smith, McCarthy, and of course Lombardi are familiar names. But a few hours up the road from Atlanta, in South Carolina, lives by another measure, the most successful coach in American football history. What's that you say? Well, here's Jimmy Roberts to explain. It's early October in Somerville, South Carolina, and an American ritual is in raucous full swing. Despite the tumult, though, Somerville's head coach seems entirely calm. Maybe that's because John McKissick has been through homecoming before. Actually, 59 times. Hey, guys, y'all over so much. I can remember when my father was 60, I thought he was an old man. <laughs> yeah, I'm 85 and don't think I'm an old man. John McKissick came here to Somerville High School all the way back in 1952. That's 11 U.S. presidents ago. Football helmets didn't even have face masks back then. All these years later, he's got 590 wins. He blew past the NFL leader in that category all the way back in the Reagan administration. My dad played, my uncle played, my grandpa coached with them, my other uncle played, my dad played, my cousin played, me and my cousin are playing right now. A lot of people know him. He's not only coaching kids whose grandparents played for him, he's coaching kids whose grandparents weren't even born when he started coaching. I think he pulls out the same schedule as he had back when we were, when I was playing and back when my dad was coaching. I think he just changes the date on it. The continuum is not only long, it's strong. So on any given day, you might find McKissick talking to the quarterback from his current team, or the one from his first team. He knows how to treat people, and and uh, he knows how to motivate people. Well, I treat everybody the same. I've never cut anybody. If a guy comes out and he's not a good football player, and he sticks and does what we ask him to do, he gets a uniform. Over 60 years, he's had five undefeated seasons, won 10 state championships, and 33 region titles. Well over 2,000 boys have played for him. 10 have gone to the NFL. It's not great players that play here, but it's a great coach that gets everything out of every player. And he plays them as a team. And the team is what wins. On this Friday night at McKissick Field, on McKissick Way, they come together to watch his latest team. On the very same piece of turf where the 25-year-old man got his first win, the great-grandfather of four gets number 591. A lot of my buddies decided to retire. They've passed on that. They're not around. And I think that's some incentive for me to keep going. Hey, Johnny. How you doing? This is America in so many places on an early October Friday night. But for the last 60 years, because of one extraordinary man, none quite like Somerville, South Carolina. Terrific story from Jimmy Roberts. By the way, Coach McKissick has had 10 players wind up in the NFL, including A.J. Green, who's a rookie now with the Bengals, and he scored a touchdown today against Jacksonville. You coach some high school ball yourself, your own boys have played, so you, you must really relate to this. I do, and I have so much admiration for people that have devoted their lifetimes, really, to these kids, because I think there was a point in time in this country where a lot of our parents maybe went into the military for their discipline and to become a man, if you will. And now so much of that falls on these high school football coaches to be those father figures. And people like John McKissick, they're just, they're amazing people. They really are. All right, Chris, we'll check with you later. Right now, we'll check with New York and Dan Patrick. Dan. All right, Bob.